Hello everyone, this is Brian with BSN Tech Networks. I'm going to bring to you another video tutorial on how to manage your real estate listings. BSN Tech Networks can create a website for you that will allow you to manage and show off some real estate listings to potential clients or customers. So uh, if you are interested in having a website built like that, just reach out to us and we can certainly assist you with that process. First of all, you should have received a username and a password from us in order to log into your website. So you'll need to go ahead and make sure that you log in with that. If you have not received a username and password from us, go ahead and reach out to us and then we can provide that information to you. So we'll go ahead and log into the administrative portal here. And so now we're logged in. Now there is a lot of information here. Um, don't be overwhelmed by it. What you're looking for specifically for the real estate listings is if you hover over components and then here is something called the Joomla Estate Agency. So first of all we're going to go into the configuration. We will typically set this configuration for you by default on your behalf but you can certainly come in here and make any other changes that you need to. Um, so instance for units of measurement for the property square feet or meters of course if since we're in the US we'll want to use square feet currency code is a dollar sign symbol is before so that helps when you're actually listing the price of it um, then there's also other information whether you want to have a print icon a PDF icon and a contact form for each of these listings so if you have a print icon then the individuals that are looking at those listings can easily kick, click the print button and make a printer friendly version of that page for printing PDF icon allows them to download a PDF or an Adobe Acrobat Reader file for that as well. Uh, a contact form, if you want to have a contact form at the bottom of each listing so if people can inquire immediately on that page, that can be done as well. So there's, there's several other different options on here, but like I said, we will set these by default. You can come in here and change those as you need to. The next thing is what's called properties feature. Now this is where there is more options available. Over here under it says change table, it says properties types. There are several different options. There are states, departments, towns, areas, advantages, heating types, water types, and slogans. Now when we set this up for you, again we will set up some of these by default. For instance, properties types. Those would be like a townhome, a single family, multifamily, commercial, things like that. If we go to properties states, we will only set up an N slash A, meaning not available. Uh, properties states, these are not the typical states we would think of like Florida, Idaho, things like that. It is the state of the property condition. So move in ready, needs repair, things like that. So that's what you're looking to put in for under property states. Departments, towns, areas and advantages we don't really do anything with you can certainly add in options if you'd like next one is heating types these would be the types of heating available such as natural gas electric or n slash a if it does not have heating available in that property well of course again we set that, those up for you as well but you are allowed to go in and change those if needed and lastly hot water types is the same thing we put in natural gas electric and n slash a the very last one on here is slogans and we don't put anything in there as well now in the event that you would like to add another feature make sure you are selecting the features that you want so I'm going to I want to create a new property type so click property type, and I'm going to add commercial so let's click on new and then the value very simple you just type it in now the reason you need these is because when you are creating the properties which I'll show you here in a moment it will have a drop down list and it will have these options available so if you don't have any options in here then you're going to have problems when you're creating the properties now you also have renting and selling management if you're actually going to be renting properties then you'd use the renting management to list your properties if you're going to be selling properties you would use the selling management properties the setup is exactly the same between the two up here. Um, you can see that this individual already has a couple that they've listed. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on one of them and show you what it looks like. 
All right, so there's a reference. You can use, uh, you know, a realtor ID number, something like that. The property type, this is where we were talking about, where you have the drop down and there's townhome, single family, multifamily, and commercial. You can put the address in there if you would like, as well as the zip code. And here are these drop downs for department, town, and area. Now, as we indicated, we do not fill these out. It's not really required, so those there's nothing in those drop down menus. Published. If you want this property to display on the website, you have to make sure you have published selected. If you have it set as no, then there won't be any. If you recall, there was about five properties listed, but on their site they have nothing right now showing because they all have them unlisted. But I will publish one so you can see what the listings will look like. And then down here you can do a description, um, information about the property, put, put be as detailed as possible so your, so your visitors can get an idea as to what they're looking at. Then over here on the features you can put rent, charges, fees, again because this is a rented property it's going to say rent instead of for sale. Here's the general state again the only one that we selected was NA but you can you can change those under the properties features that would otherwise appear up here. There's your living space you can put space, hot water type, electric, natural gas, NA, same with heating type, same way, and you can also upload a couple of pictures. So you'll have a main property picture that will display on the main site, and then you can also have a secondary picture as well. There's slogan, again slogan is not really required, and then property availability so you can put a date in there when it would be available. Now I'm going to go ahead and publish this so you can see what it's going to look like on the site. I'm just going to hit apply so it will make the change and bring me right back to this page and then if I go to their site and refresh it there is the townhome that they listed so we can click on it and there is the PF icon that I was previously discussing that can be set in the configuration and then there is the information that they typed in there's the description the address living space number of floors number of bathrooms they didn't fill out any prices so it says consult us and then this is the contact form where somebody can go on here immediately and put this in. There's the subject and then a message. So I'm going to go ahead and unpublish that now. And then this time I'm going to hit save so it'll take me back to the main listing. And there you go. So they have many different options on here, but they do not have them published. So they're not showing on the site. Now under selling management, they don't use this site for selling. So of course they don't have any listings, but I'm going to click on new and you can see that it looks exactly the same. Reference, title, alias, property type, address, zip code, everything in here is pretty much the same. Under features though it now says price instead of rent. So that's that's the only difference between selling and renting. So that is how you will manage your own properties using your website that's built by BS and Tech Networks. It's very straightforward and simple to do especially after watching this video tutorial on how to do it. So if you do have any questions or need any help, feel free to reach out to us. Our website is at http colon slash slash www.bsntech.com. This again is Brian with BSN Tech Networks, and thank you again for watching.